Hey everyone, here's another workflow that we will get asked about often enough that I wanted to create a video for it so that we could go over how we can put it together and things like that. So in this video, we're going to go over what if you have a list of 2000 customers or whatever it might be, you have this list of customers and what you want to do is you want to see who in your target market today had a past experience of working at one of your customers. And then you want to message them about it. Because in my opinion, one of the best messages that you could send is e even if that person didn't even have anything to do with your company, to be able to say, hey, you used to have an experience of working at one of these companies. They're one of our customers right now. I think. So the first thing we need to do is we need to just get your list of customers together. So this is just a fake list of customers that we just put together. I highly recommend using the workbook function in Clay because it's just going to keep everything really, really organized. And so um, we're going to have just, this is just a fake list of customers over here. And so then we're going to take our ICP list and we're just going to upload it. So I just took a list from Apollo and we just uploaded it into this clay table. And so now what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to list out all of the past company experience that these folks have had. If you want to make this a little bit maybe more direct. You don't have to list out all the past experience that somebody had. You could just list out the most recent experience instead, whichever one that you'd want to do. It's a little bit easier to do the most recent experience. So I'm not going to go over that. I'm going to go over all of the experience. So now what we need to be able to do is we have these people, they fit our ICP anyway, no matter what, we're going to email them. We're going to send them some kind of email, but we want to check, do they have some kind of uh, past company experience that we're looking for. Again, so we can send a message that's like, you know, if I used to work at HubSpot and now I work at Salesforce, then somebody who has a customer with HubSpot, they can say, hey, HubSpot's one of our customers. I saw you used to work there in the past. Now you're working at Salesforce. I think we can help you too. Basically what we're going for here, right? So now we upload this. And then again, we're just going to filter and we're going to look for anything that is not their current experience. And we're going to use write to table over here to just write all of the past experience of these people to another table, which that's going to look like this over here. And so as you can see, we've just written everybody's past experience over to this table. And then what we're doing is we're doing a lookup on that table. Now this is taking forever before the video. I accidentally hit re so we'll see if it loads, but everything, you'll still be able to visualize everything. So then what it's doing is it's looking up from this table, it's looking up in the fake list of customers, is there a domain that's similar? And so you always want to normalize the URLs. We normalize them over here and you want to use an exact match search. So it will take www.uber.com and just turn it to uber.com as well as taking anything over here and just forcing it to get normalized as well too. And so then what we'll do is we'll do a lookup and then it will fill in this field here of a confirmation of there being a lookup, which then we can go enrich this. Well, we don't actually have to enrich this person. We're going to write, I just put that in here. Well, then we can write this to another table in order to continue our workflow. Again, this is a little frozen and I'm just running out of time in the day to be able to, to do this. But so uh, essentially this is how this workflow works. Again, step one, take a list of your customers and normalize their URLs. Step two, upload your list of people you're going to email anyway and enrich them so that you can get all of their past uh, company experiences. Push those to a new table so you can use your lookup record. Now, we do have an Enterprise Clay account. I don't know where auto delete is on their product features, so I do apologize. You do want to turn on auto delete because I only need to find this instantaneously. If we run this up past 50,000 rows, it's going to be crazy and it's not going to work anymore. So we want it, it, this is basically going to run. I mean, it's not running instantaneously right now, but it, when it loads, it will. And so then we'll get that confirmation right there. And then we'll be able to instantly take that data and then just push it to the next part of our workflow where we'll validate the email and do whatever else we're going to do, write our messaging and all those things, push it to smart leader instantly. And it's all going to get taken care of over there. And so again, this is something that you can use clay for that yes you could use sales navigator for something like this as well too i found it to not be the most accurate and it's pretty tedious 
to add a bunch of past company experiences to the sales navigator URL. Um, you could deconstruct the sales navigator URL and try to add it that way, which would work too, but uh, that's just a whole other video to probably talk about. And so I thought this would be interesting for people to see how you could do it. Again, I know I talk fast. Just last time, step one, take your fake list of customers. Step two, upload your ICP list and get all of their past company experience mapped out and written to a different table so that you can do a lookup and see if any of the domains match your fake list of customers and then push those to the next part of your workflow so you can validate emails and do all those kinds of things. And so I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, and if you want this template, I'll try to share the template, but if, if there's nothing shared as a template, let's see this. I'm just not sure if I share this, if it's gonna be the whole workbook or something, and you really need the whole workbook typed together. So I'm not sure if it's really worth sharing. So if there's no share, then it's not really worth sharing. You're gonna to have to build it yourself. So I apologize about that, but it's super easy with filter list objects and everything. So as always, thanks for watching.